Hi everybody, happy Friday, and welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Five, the weekly segment where I give you a list of five things. This week on the Friday Five, we're talking about remembering your trip, so ways that you can look back on your experiences and reminisce on the adventures that you had. Without further ado, here we go. First method, right off the top, the journal. It's a tale as old as time. People have been doing it for hundreds of years. Uh, you can literally just write down on paper uh, the experiences that you've been having. You can glue in f tickets from flights, uh, tickets from uh, different sites and museums that you go to, um, grab the business cards from hostels and restaurants that you eat at, and uh, that's a Turkish bath I went to. Kind of cool. Um, and then when you get home, you can sit down and, uh, and read about the day-to-day -day experiences you had through your trip. Um, it's a sure way to do it. Lots of people do. And uh, you won't be disappointed. Like the journal, another classic way to document your trip is with photos with a camera. I don't think I've met another traveler who doesn't have a camera, but I'm sure there's someone out there. Um, say hello if you don't. That's kind of cool and different. <laughs> um, the great thing about photos is you can take snapshots wherever you go and look at them when you get home. Unfortunately, with the dawn of digital, um, most people just leave them on their computer and it's kind of hard to look at them that way. So, a few recommendations. If you are taking photos, um, get one of those digital frames, put it on your uh, dresser or in your living room, load a bunch of photos from your trip on there, and whenever you walk by, you can have a little glimpse at uh, your experiences while on your trip. Um, also, if you have something like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, you can import those pictures, add a song, and uh, it's a kind of a cool little video of your trip. Now, if you've been watching Backpack with Brock, you know that I love video. Uh, so I also recommend, if you can, to shoot some videos in addition to your pictures because it's a great way to capture uh, the life um, of the scene that is around you, whether it be um, a busy street or a market that you're in, because um, you can take in, um, you know, the sounds that a picture obviously can't, and uh, the movement and whatnot. Um, so take some pictures, take some videos, throw them together at the end, and uh, it's a good way to remember your trip. It's basic and it's easy. Three! This one's a little bit different, but letters. Um, I bought some envelopes, and every now and then I send a letter home to myself uh, that I can read whenever, uh, when I get back. Um, these letters can be written whenever. Say you're having, I don't know, a light bulb moment. You're sitting in a piazza in, in Europe or um, a very busy street in India, and um, whether it's feeling very lucky about your surroundings, something you observe that you want to really remember in that moment, um, or some changes you want to make um, in your life when you get home. Um, write it on a piece of paper, you can write it on the back of a restaurant placemat, uh, write it on a napkin, who knows. Um, but write it down, write down your thoughts in that moment, put them in an envelope, and mail them home. And um, at some point, maybe that, that letter to yourself uh, will come in very handy. Uh, and maybe it won't. Who knows? <laughs> but you can read it later. Um, and uh, yeah, so the envelope and the letter that goes in it. This one is one that I picked up from another traveler, and it's kind of fun. As I go around to each country, I also buy that country's flag. Um, on a patch, and I sew that patch, or I get someone else uh, to sew that patch on my backpack. Um, the cool thing about this is, well, the flags that were there first, um, of the first places I went, um, are kind of the dirtiest, because I've thrown them under buses and all that stuff, and they've been through quite a bit. Um, and then when I get home, I plan to take these flags off and either put them on a pillowcase or actually frame them. That was a suggestion of someone I met. Um, and then put the Canadian flag in the center or at the top, and all the other places that I've been will go around it, and it'll be um, a cool little memento of my trip. It's also a great conversation piece in addition to everything else, um, because you're sitting somewhere with your bag and someone's like, wow, 
have you been to all those places? And the conversation begins. Um, so you can buy flags of all the places that you've been. And uh, that's the end of that one. Finally, and quite possibly my favorite way of remembering my trip is postcards to myself. Now this is different than the envelope. A postcard is something we usually send to other people, um, but I like to send postcards to myself of snapshots of a place that I've been, um, if I go to a museum, whatever it be, and I want to take a postcard, I buy one in the, the gift shop or whatever, um, but I send a postcard to myself from every country that I go to. Um, and on the back I write down some of the main highlights of that country, things that I liked, um, things that I didn't like, uh, some funny experiences that happened along the way. And when I get back, I feel like it will be a really neat way of kind of jumping back in uh, to wherever I've been. Uh, so this one's of me in India, and uh, there's definitely some crazy <laughs> things that happen in India. Um, but it's so easy. I just, well, the same way of the postcards I send to friends and family. I take that photo, print it in a Photoshop, um, and then just write on the back and mail it to myself. And uh, they'll probably sit in a shoebox when I get home, but every now and then it will be cool to pull out those, those postcards and read uh, the letter that I wrote to myself on the back. And there you have it, your Friday Five. Five ways for you to remember your trip yourself. I'm sure there's tons of other ways to remember your trip. Um, you could start a blog. Just saying. <laughs> it doesn't have to be um, a video blog that takes hours and hours every week. Um, it can be just photos or it can be text. Um, it can be one line a day about your favorite experience. Um, or it could be video, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but there's lots of ways for you to catalog your trip um, and remember uh, the great experiences and the not so great experiences that you had along the way. So if you have some more suggestions, maybe a different way that you um, try to remember your trip, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Maybe I'll add it to my numerous ways of documenting this adventure. And um, <laughs> I always get to this part of the end of the videos where I don't really know what else to say, because I, I think that's it. I think we covered it. Um, leave a comment, send this to everyone you know, and uh, tune in for more videos. See you next Friday. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three.